guys, welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and I have the groom with me for the midweek movie with the groom. Hello. Today we are reviewing the 2018 release A Quiet Place, which is written and directed by John Krasinski, who actually also stars in the movie. It is a drama, horror, sci-fi hodgepodge, we'll call it, uh, which is surprisingly actually PG-13. So, the movie does start out, I think it was about three months after the initial outbreak of You Don't Really Know What. I think they say day, day 90. Yeah. So, yeah, just about three months. Opens with our main characters, which include a family of mom, dad, and three kids. Kind of scounging. Scounging. Scavenging, maybe? Scavenging. Scrounging <laughs> around for medications, anything they can find useful, and we get to follow their story, which picks up again about a little over a year then, and how things have progressed, uh, how they have survived. Obviously, from the previews, you've seen that the monsters are attracted by any sort of sound, so they have to be super quiet. There's a lot of kind of... Uh, interesting what would you say like plot points that they throw in yes and one of the the main things is that one of their kids is deaf so they're all pretty fluent with sign language to begin with so they did have like a really good chance what i really the thing about the sign language they use in the video is it or in the movie the video the the, video. the movie is that it's actual sign language mm -hmm. like i actually checked with somebody Who's a friend of mine who actually have the, who actually has a deaf son and he's fully fluent in American Sign Language and he said he was very impressed by the fact that the actors actually learned American Sign Language and don't worry it has subtitles because not everybody knows American Sign Language so it does subtitle the sign language which I appreciate because I'm not fluent in it so it was very that was like the worry is that they were going to use hand gestures that. I didn't really know, and you're not going to know what they were saying, so I was actually very relieved by that. So we get to follow this family's journey in their fight for survival against these things while Dad's trying to figure out how he could defeat them or at least get, you know, the upper hand in the struggle against them. And Mom is pregnant and due very shortly, which that's kind oh, of terrifying. It's incredibly ir irresponsible. It's not. Post-apocalyptic. Because <laughs> I'm tired. We would have died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what if, did you like about the movie? If this comes true, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so loud. I would have died. All right. What I really loved was the monster. The monster was like it looked really cool because you got to see it good up close. You don't get. You don't really get to see it in the trailer. You got. You know kind of what it looks like you the shape of like, it you see it like yeah yeah you see it, but you really get it up when you get to see the monster up close it is terrifying and it makes this distinctive sound that's in one of the trailers that reminded me of the chatterer from the hellraiser <laughs> so I immediately went to when i saw that and that was terrifying from my childhood so that added to it and i think they, they i think they did a really good job with the monster and everything for it being a PG-13 movie I think they did really good with the stuff that scares you and the suspense and everything what did you like about the movie? I liked that the first 10 minutes um, didn't pull any punches <laughs> even before the credits you know the opening credits it, it was pretty intense and I appreciated that I feel like that was honestly my favorite part of the movie they jumped in with both feet. They really did. It was uh, not typically what you'd expect in a movie, especially since it's PG-13. You, you knew what this movie was 10 minutes into it. Yeah. You were like, oh. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't BS oh, you at snap. all. Oh, <laughs> snap. So I, I felt like they, they pulled it off pretty well. I mean, I wasn't super shocked by it, but I'm glad that that's the route they went. I'll leave it at that since it's spoiler free. Uh, for So... That goes right into my dislike. My huge dislike of this movie was literally the last three minutes of it. I loved this movie. 
until the very end. I hate the way this movie ended. Can't tell you why, but just, I hate the way this movie ended. I thought they could have ended it so much better, even with it being PG-13. I kind of understand why. There's rumors that there's going to be a sequel, you know, and, you know, that they've already written it. And, you know, John Krasinski has already written a sequel. Is the sequel called A Dark Place? (laughs) Yeah, no, yeah. (laughs) Now if they see you, they kill you. Yeah. But, no, it's just, it's the last, the last couple of minutes. The way the movie ended, I did not, like, like, the last, the lead up to the end is very intense. Very, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Very, very suspenseful. I love the lead up to the end. And then the very end, you get the obvious hate hateful ending so mad i thought they could have done so much better they had such potential and then just screwed it up in the last three minutes what did you not like of this movie um so i've watched a ton of movies i called a lot of things that were gonna happen pretty much the entire movie yeah so that that was rough for me i mean i still i i did enjoy it but it was really predictable i felt like it really Gave me a signs vibe. I was just like, huh. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, okay. A lot of people said that said wow. that it's too much like the signs. Well, I mean, like it's it's it was different enough, I guess, but it just like that progression of events was like the family and yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, but... signs was like a dad and an older kid and then the younger kid, so I guess it was it was different in that manner and the. It was pregnancy. on a farm. Yeah, the pregnancy and, like, you know, that was a different aspect. But it's the straight arrow of the movie is pretty much very similar to science. So I can definitely see, I can definitely see why you would see that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to roll on the ratings. I gave this a four out of five. It would have been a five out of five had they not ended the movie so terribly. But, no, I really, really liked it. I was surprised at how well it was done as a pg 13 movie i can't get over you know there was if this was an r-rated movie i showed some stuff oh i would have really liked that because it's pg-13 so you're obviously not going to get the 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 good the good stuff the good quality scenes you want but you know for a pg-13 like i'm basing this i'm rating this based on it's a pg-13 movie it's a four out of five for me because it's a PG thirteen movie and they did really well with it. What did you give it? I give it a two point five out of five. I I really liked John Krasinski <laughs> a lot. I was a huge fan of The Office. At no point did he stop and look in the camera and be like, which I would have liked. But that's <laughs> like you can't put that in the movie because no one no one knows who Jim is. But um. I feel like for his first, is it his first directorial debut? I don't know. I don't think it's his first one, but I think this is the first major. <laughs> it's allergy season, y'all. I think this is the first major film he's done. I think he's done, I think he did a small one bef- before this that did it, that did well. I mean, if this is his first one or like one of his first it's few. It's pretty good. It's not bad, but like it's, it was very formulaic in my opinion. I felt like, um. The monsters could have been done a little bit better, in my opinion. So, big friend of ours, Chase, kind of compared the monster to the the Demigorgon from Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. That was all I could see, and I was like, yeah, no, he hit that, like, right on the head with that comparison. I've never watched, I've never watched Stranger Things. That's probably why I did not make that... Stranger Things is bomb. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't make that assimilation to but, it. But um, usually I, I really dislike children in movies. Not like I dislike children in movies, but I feel like <laughs> they're just not the strongest of actors sometimes and they get super annoying. But I didn't really feel that in this movie, so I will give it that. This year has been the year of child actors in like the horror sci-fi thriller genre. I mean genre. other than the 80s I suppose. Like no well, no like 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 it had great child acting and it stranger things everybody raves about the child mm-hmm. actors in that. And this movie the ch- the ch- the child actors were amazing. I thought they did really good. The really cool aspect was um I 
they can't give that away because you don't really see it in the trailer. So, anyway, we'll talk about it some other yeah. time. Yeah, watch but, the movie and yeah. get back to us. Where can you watch the movie? I'm glad you asked that. Where could we watch the movie? <laughs> All right, so we rented the movie off of Redbox, which is always a viable option. It came out on DVD July 10th. Um, it, you can get it on Redbox, obviously, through DVD. You can rent or buy it on M's, on Prime, um, a lot of the streaming rent or buy apps. There's uh, talks of it. it's going to come to Net Netflix because of the great relationship between Paramount and Net and Netflix. You know they have this like agreement going on. See, they did the Cl the Cloverfield movie that went straight to Netflix instead of Paramount releasing mm -hmm. it on on movie. So they have a I read an article that said they have a really good relationship and they really foresee this, especially since it's PG thirteen coming to Netflix fairly soon. So, but as of right now. The seventeenth of July. It is not on Netflix yet. Womp but, womp. Womp womp womp. But I mean, it just came out, so, so you're gonna you got to give it a little bit. But it's definitely worth the money to rent. I I wouldn't buy it, but you know, it was definitely worth the two dollars to rent it. So, but so I would definitely suggest. You know, it's a it's a good it's a good movie. I don't know if I'd watch it with the kids. <laughs> the PG-13 <laughs> thing. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you can yeah. tell like, I guess it depends on how cool your kids are. <laughs> if you're not quiet, this demon's going to come and snatch you. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> it's a horrible thing to tell to kids, to tell your kids. That's why we make them watch the Krampus movie. We didn't make him watch the Krampus. He's never seen the Krampus movies. <laughs> so you can also get this streaming on Amazon Prime, rent mm -hmm. or buy. Yes. Along with all the other Digital. various streaming apps you can buy physical copy blu-ray dvd july 10th it went on laser sale disc. <laughs> laser disc for all you <laughs> high class old school people beta oh my god yeah yeah you can get it on beta if you get in a time machine <laughs> gotta find a beta player mm -hmm. oh. but um yeah no i really think it was a solid movie i would definitely you know i wouldn't pay 20 bucks to buy it but i would definitely spend the two dollars to rent to rent it I it, definitely would. it was okay <laughs> it was all right you're a lot harder on movies than, than I am. Yeah. I'm all like, yeah, I give it a four. I really liked it. You're like, 2.5. I hate everything. I don't hate everything. <laughs> I hate everything that isn't covered in buckets of blood and practical effects. Not true. That's kind of accurate, though. Not completely <laughs> accurate. Anyways. But as always, thank you all for watching. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. Follow me on Twitter at... Repeat Groom Ray. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the like button if you liked the video, or you can hit the like button if you didn't like the video. Are you not a fan of sneezing and allergy season? Do you hate Benadryl? That's okay. Um, it's We live between two fields, and oh. I'm constantly scream sneezing, so I apologize to uh, any headphone users, but sorry. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe We're to the channel. We're putting out a lot of different content now. Uh, recently, she had a makeup video go up for unboxing. We have a couple of subscription boxes that we both subscribe to. We're going to start unboxing them on the channel. You're going to see a lot of us broadening out on our content. I do uh, Loot Crate unboxing starting whenever Loot Crate sends it to me. And uh, we're going to see a lot of different stuff coming up here. So make sure you like everything, follow everything, subscribe, follow the Twitter, fo follow, subscribe to Twitch, watch me play some video games with my friends. Some of them are improper. Some of them are hilarious. All of it's fun, though. And have you seen this movie? What did you think about it? Did you like the way the monsters looked? Did you think it was kind of hella predictable? Leave a comment with your thoughts. I'd love to chat with you in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of all my uploads. And if you want to, check out this movie. Thanks y'all for watching. Bye.